Okay, so um, this is the worm and wheel, and so what it does is it turns, and it will turn this when you turn this, but then if you try to turn this back, it doesn't move. And it's used in things like pulley systems, so if you lift them up, it will lock in place and it won't fall down. So this is our worm and wheel. It turns quite slowly. And some uses for it are for like tuning instruments and for elevators or lifts. This um, is called the chain drive and this is the function and it's used in bicycles for their gears and it's used in conveyor belts, uh, especially in Amazon. Um, and that's our project. Hi, so this is uh, Cam and Follower and And some real life examples are a pencil sharpener and a sewing machine. Okay, so this is our worm and wheel, and this is how it functions. And it's used in real life situations when in an elevator it helps regulate the speed, and in guitar it helps tune the strings, and in a conveyor belt it helps move the conveyor belt one way. Okay, so this is the cam and follower, and it goes like this. And a real-life example of this is in a textile machine when it weaves together fabrics. Um, this is a simple gear with idler, and that is the way it's used. Um, it's used in many things, but first it's used in a paper printer, because while this is moving, it can be used to transport the paper throughout the printer. It's also using conveyor belts because this allows the belt to go forward because of the rotation. And finally use in a lathe machine to cut and sand tools because the rotation can be used to turn it or, or like cut and sand it. So this is a simple gear with idler. It moves just like this with a crank on this side. Um, this can be used in things like a labeler, um, a, like a tank if it has something like this on it. Um, okay, so um, this is the um, simple gear with idler. Um, as you can see, it spins um, the gear, the idle gear, which then spins the other gear. Um, so this, this type of gear is used in tanks um, because um, the track goes around um, both of the outer gears and they spin the same direction because of the idle. Okay, so we made a simple gear with an idler and this is how it works. It works pretty great. Um, and some real life things. One was it's for the crankshaft to the camshaft gear train of an automobile and to maintain the same gear rotation. All right, um, so here you can see our, uh, our worm and wheel, and uh, here, here's what happens when I spin it. It goes very slow, but you can, you can see it. Look at my hands, yeah, I know, but it's great. And uh, one of the real world functions is um, tuning a guitar, and it, when you spin this on the side, then this would spin the, um, would spin the, I don't know, the wheel, and then that would pull the strings in and tune the guitar. Um, this is our belt and pulley uh, me mechanism. Uh, so you just turn it, and then it can go either way, and the rubber band moves, as well as the gears. Um, it, in real life, it is in uh, sewing machines, treadmills, uh, airport uh, luggage carriers. Uh, so this is a Cam and Fowler. And so, and in the real world, it's used in wall clocks and paper shredders. So this is our Werman wheel uh, that we did in Design Robotics 12A. And so basically, you turn this lever, lever that turns the gear very slowly, and um. This gear can be used for a lot of things, such as a secondary braking system for elevators, and it can be used in the transmission of like large vehicles like trucks. 